Welcome agents to this ingress video where we're going to have a look at just how many items we can receive from one hack using as many multipliers as we can. So you can see on screen that the first thing that we're going to do is do a lot of scanning. And you can see right now we're scanning this one particular portal which has a fantastic ornament in the middle of it. And it's so that we can trigger a fracker which will give us two times hack output which is the first of the multipliers that we're going to apply to the portal today. So if you weren't aware then, all you need to do is scan a portal 13 times, it gets a bit tedious, but upload them immediately and upload them in the same scepter cycle and you will get a fracker on top of that portal. The second multiplier that we're going to apply today is the fact that it is our seven day streak, which gives us a three times multiplier. So on top of that fracker, we're going to get a huge amount of items hopefully in this one hack. The third and final boost to our hack output today is the fact that this is an overclock portal because after Operation Kronos, it actually encouraged us to use that a little bit more because you get a lot of items in a very, very short space of time and we became pretty proficient at overclock hacking level 8 portals. So the way that all these multipliers actually stack is pretty complicated. The idea is that you get four times the amount of items from an overclock hack, but only one quarter of that is then multiplied by the seven day streak. However, after that, everything is multiplied by two because of the fracker. So now you can see then it is go time on our screen. We are overclocking this portal on our seven day streak. And on top of that, we've also got a fracker. How many items is it gonna render us in this one hack? So our glyphs then are pretty simple ones. In this case, it is strong together, war together, chaos, which are pretty recognizable and easy in overclock form. Anyhow, we're gonna see our yield very shortly. And it's worth mentioning as well that we'll do a couple of variations on this one, such as actually using ITOs and requesting keys. But for now, you've got 10 power cubes, 60 resonators, 42 bursters, eight ultra strikes, and four level seven bursters. Thank you very much for watching. Leave any comments and I'll respond to you.